Hi everyone, I'm Courtney, and today I want to talk to you about left-handed hurdy-gurdies. Let's mix an L. If you watched my last video, you probably saw that I play a left-handed hurdy-gurdy. And I think a lot of people, when they're deciding to take up the instrument, ask themselves at some point, should I play a right-handed hurdy-gurdy or a left-handed hurdy-gurdy? I would think for 90 to 95% of the gurdy players out there that a right-handed hurdy-gurdy is perfectly fine. I don't think most hurdy-gurdy players need a left-handed hurdy-gurdy. I wouldn't say that I needed one. It was a choice that I made based on my musical background, and I went back and forth on it for a long time. Could I have played a right-handed hurdy-gurdy? Yes, I could have learned it. There's nothing physically stopping me from doing so. And I've been thinking about it for a while and I wanted to share my thoughts on why I chose a left-handed hurdy-gurdy for myself. This decision probably is not the right one for most people, but for me, I feel that it was. For people who have never played this instrument before, I want to just go over the basics of how it operates real quick. The concept is that you are turning a crank which causes a wheel to rotate. The wheel vibrates against a set of strings, causing them to produce sound. Then with your other hand, you're pressing keys that in turn put pressure on the string to change the pitch, kind of like a piano or a cello even. If you're trained in playing string instruments, you would definitely want to consider a right-handed hurdy-gurdy because just like with that instrument, with a cello or a violin, you would be pressing the strings with the fingers of your left hand to change the pitch. With your right hand, you're bowing. So if you convert that into a hurdy-gurdy, playing the keys, turning the wheel. It's, it's the same hands, the same functions of those two hands. Now, what if you play piano? If you play the piano, then My cat has decided this is the time to sing the song of his people. Uh, where was I? So, uh, if you're a pianist, um, if you play the piano, then you definitely want to seriously consider a right-handed hurdy-gurdy. And the reason has to do with the placement of the keys, because a typical CG-tuned hurdy-gurdy, the key placement is going to be just like that of a piano, just like the black and white keys. So the white keys are the natural keys, and the black keys are the sharp keys. Same thing goes for hurdy-gurdy. If you're a pianist and you try to play a left-handed gurdy, all those keys are going to be backwards and it will probably drive you insane. So what if you've never played any musical instrument before in your life? I would still recommend a right-handed hurdy-gurdy. Even if you are a right-handed person and you think you're gonna have better function in your right hand or whatever. The reason for this is because any hurdy-gurdy instructions that you might find online or on YouTube or even from an instructor will very likely be from a right-handed hurdy-gurdy perspective, especially if you're looking at the key chest and trying to learn the notes. Stick with the standard if you don't have a very specific reason to switch to a left-handed hurdy-gurdy. Okay, so at this point you're probably wondering why in the <laughs> did Courtney decide to get a left-handed hurdy-gurdy? I have my reasons. Could I have played a right-handed hurdy-gurdy? Yes, there is nothing physically stopping me from learning it. I did seriously consider it for a while. I went back and forth on right-handed, left-handed for a long time. I looked for YouTube videos about it and there really wasn't anything particularly clear. What made me come to my decision was my specific musical training. My background, it's not in strings, it's not in piano, <laughs> It's not even in woodwinds. So what did I play? I played low brass. I played euphonium and tuba for eight years. Why does this matter? Well, when you play an instrument like euphonium tuba, your fingerings are all done exclusively with the right hand. I just traumatized every low brass player out there. Um, so when I was considering which version of the instrument I wanted to play, I was kind of examining my hands and I realized that I have a lot more control and dexterity with the fingers of my right hand than I do with my left. And I felt much more comfortable with the, the physical motion of cranking with the left and playing with the right. This was my personal decision. This applies only to me. 
There might be other low brass players out there who would be perfectly fine with a right-handed hurdy-gurdy. I'm sure I could have been too. And like I said, I went back and forth on this decision for a long time, but when it came down to it, it I trusted my gut. And my gut told me that I would be more comfortable playing a left-handed hurdy-gurdy, which is why I got one. In the end, this was definitely the right decision for me. I've been playing for about a month and I feel very comfortable with the left-handed hurdy-gurdy. I think it was the absolute right choice in my case. It might not be the right choice for you, but that's okay. That's why I wanted to make this video so I could share my reasoning behind it and hopefully help you decide whether you would want to go with a right-handed or left-handed hurdy-gurdy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on posting many more about my crazy journey into learning the hurdy-gurdy. Um, until next time, like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you next time. Excuse me, darling, I'm filming a YouTube video. If you could kindly shut up. <laughs>